Mexicans love their dogs, a fact that's clear to see across the capital. But away from the parks and pet stores, dogs are also a major problem for the country. Official estimates show Mexico has the highest number of stray dogs in all of Latin America, with more than 15 million countrywide. What's more, animal advocates say the vast majority of strays were abandoned by their owners. Puppies are easy to love and take care of, but after growing into adult dogs, with the responsibility they are required to take care of, many are simply abandoned to fend for themselves in the streets. Such animals represent a public health risk, and several cases of canine attacks have made headlines in Mexico over the past two years. The Antonio Hagenbeck Foundation is Mexico's only hospital for stray dogs, with two ambulances in circulation scouring the streets for at-risk animals. As well as aggression, stray dogs put public health at risk through their feces, which, when dried, is added to the atmosphere. Rabies is also an issue in Mexico, particularly in areas where infected dogs can affect other wildlife and spread the virus. Once a stray has been picked up by the authorities, Mexican law states that any ownership rights to the animal expire after 72 hours, and many of these dogs end up being euthanized. But that's not the policy at the Hagenbeck Foundation. Since 1984, the Antonio Hagenbeck Foundation has sterilized almost 40,000 stray dogs in an attempt to curb the number that roam the capital's streets. Rather than putting them down, the philosophy is to give them a second chance. Following treatment, the animals end up as candidates for adoption and reintroduction into Mexican society. Adoption is really important, but we make sure the process pairs dogs and families that will stay together. This way we ensure a better future for these dogs that have had hard lives. Yet the number of stray dogs on Mexico's streets continues to rise. Solutions aren't easy to come by, but those working here say all of Mexico needs to embrace what they've known all along, that dogs are truly deserving to be man's best friend. Alistair Bavistock, CGTN, Mexico City.